Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Breakfast with Brian. I'm Brian Barol. I'm in my house, and it's cold outside, and I got my fire going. Figured I'd just give you a little warmth before I get into doing breakfast. There you go. Have a nice warm day. Stay warm. Next few days are going to be really, really cold. So, oh, there you go. The fire is going. Got my heat on. Now, let's go to the kitchen and go. Hey, Ryan Morris and Brooklyn Spice, welcome. Ralph, how you doing? Mike Snyder. What's going on, everybody? All right. So here today, I'm going to turn my radio off. I listen to 93.3 WMMR. You can stream it live over the internet and listen to it anywhere in the world. It's actually a live morning broadcast. It's really good. I think it's very cool. So anyway, check it out. Let me go turn the radio off. And uh, okay, so today, uh, subject being holiday parties. But before I get started on the holiday party deal, I just want to get started on my breakfast. I got some bagels in the uh, toaster, and I'm going to make my juice right here, right now. So I got my pitcher, and I already started with some things. I have uh, apples that I already cut up. I'm trying to prep some things beforehand, make it a little bit quicker and easier. So I use my little my little uh, dicer for my apples works great. <clears throat> and then I also have some clementine oranges. I broke up a couple of clementines. I took uh, one big uh, navel orange, big navel orange, throwing that in there. So I'm going a little bit more on the orange side because I'm using two different types of orange. I have some black grapes left. I'm putting those in there. No big deal. I have some melon. Uh, I always forget the name of this melon. It's uh, uh, whatever. I can't remember the name of it. So many other things on my mind. Already been up and out. Walked the dog. Did my running, my exercise, and stretching, all that stuff. So I get an early start. I've been starting my days earlier. No big deal. Okay. Um. Getting pretty full there. I'm gonna go chop this down. I'm gonna I'm gonna grind this up and add some more stuff to it. So let me bring it over here and do my grinding, or my mixing, or my whatever you want to call it. And I have uh, some bagels in the toaster oven. I'm toasting, so let me uh, get my juice going here. It's the main thing. What is going on here? There we go. Good. So I grounded gra that, grinded it, grinded, mixed it all up, and it uh, broke all the fruit down. I got some more room to put some more stuff. Okay, so I'm going to add some pineapple, which I already had chopped up a couple of days ago, and uh, using this stuff up. Put a pineapple in there, a little bit of juice, pineapple juice in there. I also had opened up a coconut the other day. Some nice big fresh pieces of white coconut, but I'm going to cut this up into pieces now simply because it'll grind up easier. When I put a big piece in the grinder, it takes a lot longer for that coconut to grind up. It takes a lot longer for the coconut to grind up because it is hard actually. So, put a good bit in. Coconut will go bad if you don't use it up, so I'm trying to use it up. I'm going to be making some stir fry for lunch, and I'm going to be using some coconut and pineapple in my stir fry. So there we go, some coconut and some pineapple. We'll get to those later. And I'm going healthy. I am taking some red kale. Really good looking red kale, I will say. I haven't seen, you know, good looking red kale, and I just picked up uh, two batches or two bundles, whatever, two heads, and I uh, used up one already last week, and uh, the end of the week over the weekend, and I'm using the other one up now, so I don't like to waste, but I like to use. Oh, come on now. Red 
Let's see now. Hopefully this will get all together. I'll do about a tablespoon of that, maybe hair less. I have enough for one more juice. I'll save that. I'm going to do a little bit of chia seeds in there. Just a little bit. A teaspoon, maybe. Chia seeds do tend to suck up the uh, anything that's water, anything that's liquid, any juice of any sorts, of any type. So let's bring you over here a little bit. Get you in there. Hey, how's it going? Sorry, but you know, hey, it's my breakfast show. You do yours, I'll come watch and we'll hang out. Whatever. Hey, Raymond and Roswell, how's everybody going? Okay, so in order to, because this is so thick, I'm going to take some crayon pomegranate and I'm going to take some orange juice. I'm going to mix it in there with it. And this will help thin it out so it makes it more drinkable. Again, I use Florida's natural, it's 100% made in the USA. If you're watching this, you're not from the US, I'm sorry, but I like to stick with stuff that's made in the country that I live, if I can. Okay, it's gonna be a little bit much, it's gonna overflow. Got a lot in here, but it is what it is. It's gonna be a mess, here we go. Getting a really nice pink color, it's really full. I like it. Okay, I think it's pretty good. And let's see what we got. Still a little bit on the thick side. So I'm going to add a little more juice. Get it out a little bit more. I'll have to keep doing this every day because the chia seeds suck up all that liquid. So it's still a little bit thicker than it should be, but it's okay. All right, so there you go. Anyway, here's my juice, but before I do my juice, again, I take water to bed with me every night. I drink water if I need it through the night, and I finish it up in the morning. I put water into my system first thing before anything else. Again, I refer to this as an internal shower. <laughs> I know it's stupid, but cheers to you. Ah, and I can feel it. I can feel the cool water come down and sort of, oh, it just sort of like rinses and washes everything on the inside. I don't know. That, maybe that's just me. I'm a little wacky, so and I like to drink water. Water is the essence of life, but I live on water. Okay, so here we go. I did my water. I got my juices. Let me get my supplements here. Had them here. There they are. Okay, I have a Centrum Silver, and I have a Turmeric Curcumin Supplement. So I do these two supplements. Is all I do. I'm not on any prescription medicines. I hate having to be on medicines. I'd rather take care of my body naturally. Turmeric is natural spice and it's really good for you. This is, it's processed, but it's got vitamins and stuff in it, you know. Most people will take a supplement of some sort of some vitamins. So this is what I do. Uh, and I try to stay off all medicines. I eat a lot of fruit. I eat really well. I don't eat processed foods, things like that to help keep me healthy. So there's my two supplements. Here's my juice. Cheers. 
It's really thick. It's still too thick. But it is what it is. Got my juice here. Hey, Rocco, good to see you join us. Okay. I think I got a little, couple little teeny pieces of coconut shell when I cleaned out my coconut out of the shell. I just put out a little teeny hard piece. I think it was a piece of coconut shell. It's okay. So just be careful when you're making homemade stuff like this. It, you know, you have to be careful of shells, skins, roots, you know, bones, if it's meat and stuff like that. So just be aware, that's all. Okay. So let me get my bagel. I got my Trader Joe's blueberry bagel. They are gluten-free and dairy-free because I cannot have those. I'm allergic. And me, I take my bagels and I put little slats in them. That's all before I put my almond butter on it. I can't have peanut butter. I'm allergic to peanuts. So I put the slats in it, into the bread, so it turns it into like, uh, if you're older and you remember, or maybe not, maybe you've had them. It's still around, I guess. Is Thomas's English muffins. Now, the whole trick with Thomas's English muffins was they cut them and they separate them, so you pull them apart, and it's a muffin with all the nooks and crannies. The nooks and crannies are all really good. You get all the butter melted down into it. So I took that theory that Thomas's English muffins uses with the nooks and crannies, and I make my own nooks and crannies on my bagel by putting little slats in it with my knife. So this way, when I put my almond butter on it, if it's you, you might have peanut butter, you might have butter, you might have jelly, whatever. Whatever it is you decide to put on your muffin now will seep down into the muffin, the bagel, the toast, whatever. As long as you put those little slats in it and make it like nooks and crannies. So I used to love English muffins. I used to love them with the butter melted all over and going to the nooks and crannies. It's incredible. But since my allergies, food allergies, and I can't have wheat or gluten gladden, then uh, I had to change wrap. I can't do Thomas English muffins anymore. So I do whatever. I do my bagels and I do my, I did peanut butter and bagels forever until I became allergic to wheat and allergic to peanuts and so many other things. But anyway, normal, most normal human beings will have allergies to something. You may not know what it is. You may not realize it. But you gotta figure it out and take care of your life. Okay, so there we go. Got my bagel, got my juice, take my vitamins. Mm. I like it. All right, holiday parties. Have you attended any holiday parties yet? I'm going to my first one tonight, late this afternoon, probably five o'clock I'll probably go. Because I think it goes like four to eleven or something. It's at a lo little local lighting company, and they do a uh, Christmas party every year. They invite all their vendors and all the people that are associated with them, the people that used to work there, work there now, freelancers, suppliers, uh, you know, anybody and everybody that has any attachment whatsoever to the company and the people that are in it, mostly directly with the company. Some people pull in a little bit of family within their company and stuff like that, that's okay. So, holiday parties, especially if it's the company you're with, or if it's a company that invites you, you should go. You should go, make an appearance, because they put out an invitation, hoping that you would come and share a little bit of happiness and a little moment with them in that company. Very simple, very easy. But when you go, you know, whether you, if you're going to drink alcohol, be aware, don't overdo it. You don't want to make an ass out of yourself. You don't want to get too drunk and falling over and all the suppliers and people you work with in here and they're all going to be talking behind your back and you don't want to be doing that crap. So if you're going to drink alcohol, keep it toned down a little bit. Drink, have a good time, get loose, have fun. Just don't get tanked, don't get ripped, don't get blown out and falling down drunk. It's stupid. You make an ass out of yourself. Okay, when you go to these parties, you're obviously going to select certain people to hang out with, to hang in the corner with, to talk with. You know, you want to talk with everybody, maybe, maybe not everybody. Maybe there's going to be a person or two there that you don't want to see that you've had some conflicts with. That's okay. You don't have to. 
should be considerate and say hello and acknowledge that person and not be a stuck up asshole and turn around and do that because that's wrong too. So, I mean, you want, you're gonna have your little groups of people and you have the groups of people you're not, you know, but don't show it, don't be bad, don't be bad mouthing, don't be nasty, don't, just, don't be an asshole. You know what I mean? Be normal. Normal, you socialize. You go, you have a drink, you say hello, you shake hands, you have a little bit of conversation here and there, you have a little bite to eat, and talk with other people, you meet new people, it's good to networking. When it comes to these uh, company parties, networking is the primary use of these parties, okay? So if you're a freelancer like myself, you know, I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna go to this party, and I'm gonna meet some of the suppliers and the rental companies and this and that. A lot of those people I don't have to deal with, I don't really care because I'm not working for the company, so I don't need to push that end of it. But if I'm a freelancer and I wanna to get to meet people and get on people's better sides, then that's who I'm gonna to hone to go to. You know, I'm gonna hang out with those people. I wanna talk with them, talk them up, chat them up, get them to wanna to hire me, so to speak. You know what I mean? So positive to positive to positive to positive. Keep all your negativities out, keep them outside the door, don't bring them in with you. You can talk behind people's backs because everybody does that, do it later, but be presentable. Be within the holiday spirit. Be positive. 100% around the board. Be positive. Be good. And you can actually enjoy the party. And you can make your presence known. And not be known by being a drunken asshole. Okay? You know, because like I've done before, people pass out and they, people draw things on their faces and you take pictures of them. They're like, ah, you laugh at them later and you show them or whatever. I mean, it could be a lot of fun. So my whole point being, if you're invited to these Christmas parties, Xmas parties, holiday parties, whatever you might call them, uh, go, enjoy, make an appearance, just go for a little bit, show yourself that you're real, that you're a real human being, that you're a real person and you enjoy Christmas and even if you're faking it, it doesn't matter, but do it. It's really, really good for you and everybody else that, you know, I invited so-and-so and they didn't show up. You know what kind of talk is going to be about you back behind your back then if you don't show up? No. You show up, you make your presence. You don't have to stay long. You go and say hi to everybody and do one walkthrough and blah, 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 and then you're gone. You did your appearance. That's all you really, really have to do. That's all you really should do as a bare minimum. You can stay and play and hang out and talk and you can be there the whole entire time. Just don't be a drunken asshole. And say hello to everybody. Be positive. That's all. It's good. So holiday parties are coming. I'm going to my first one tonight. And then tomorrow I have Glenn Mills Boys School Xmas Air Guitar Show. I'm doing that show for the for the school and they love it. It's their little Christmas, their little Christmas party. It's a an event. It's actually a show. The kids all come out and they all uh, pretend to play guitars and play drums. And we give them instruments, they're just not plugged in with no amplifiers and stuff. So there's no musical. Uh, noise or sound. We use pre-recorded songs that they play and the kids come out and they dance their choreographic dances or whatever. The kids in the back are playing like, you know, or fake on a drum kit or whatever. And I have a backdrop. We have some scenes and a bunch of lights and make it look all nice and pretty and happy and fun. It's a good, really good, fun time for them. It's kids that are imprisoned basically, but they still give them a chance to do a Christmas party. And this way they actually have fun. Again, it's a positive thing. This is Christmas, it's seasons, lift your spirits, be happy, help others, point everybody in the right direction. So anyway, I got a Christmas party tonight, first one of the season, and I have a Christmas event tomorrow, first one of the season. I'm looking forward to it. I hope everybody out there has parties and events to go to also through the season. Go for them. It's really, really good. It really helps you, helps lift your spirit up, helps you get in the mode, and I'm one of those that's not ever in that mode. I'm, uh, I'm Mr. Happy I've been known as in the past because of my miserability, but that's beside the point. Look, I'm trying to keep a smile, I'm laughing. I got a party to go tonight, an event to do tomorrow. Christmas is here, season is here, holidays are here. Kick it in the ass, all right? I'm gonna get to my bagel before it gets too cold and thin my juice out a little bit more. And everybody out there, you all have a really, really good time and go to your Christmas party. Seriously, it's not bad. Donna, how you doing? Julie, great to see you. Brian, good to see you again. You have to call me, Brian, so we can, uh, I can help you out with making that video for your business. 
So, but anyway, 10 things that you're happy for, grateful for, thankful for today. 10 things today, just, just today. I'm thankful that I have this nice shirt. I'm thankful I got up early. I'm thankful I got the dog out before she peed on the floor. I'm thankful I went and did my exercise down the alley, walking, running in place, stretching, everything else like that. I'm thankful I had another bag on. I'm thankful I had all this juice. I'm thankful I had the knowledge of what to do to take care of myself health-wise. I'm thankful that I have a Christmas party to go to tonight. How about you? I got my first one tonight, and I'm very, very thankful. I'm grateful I was, was invited, and I'm very happy I have somewhere to go this evening to a party and see friends and some foes, hopefully not too many, but friends and people I associate with and work with and so on. It's really good. So anyway, 10 things. 10 things you find today, today, just for today. Tomorrow's another 10. So in a week's time, there's 70 things that you found that made you happy, even so some of them are over and over, same thing. That's okay. Pick three people to share some love with. I say three. Tonight, I think I'm going to share a love with a lot of people tonight, probably dozens. Why not? Doesn't hurt. Hi, how you doing? Good to see you. Have a great day. You know what I mean? These are good, simple things to do to help bring you up, help keep you positive, help you get more into the spirit of the season. Okay, and then the people within your household, I say one to two positive comments or compliments. Should be easier now that you're getting into the holiday season, excuse me. And it will help keep positivity within your household, within your kingdom, within your domain. This is where you live. This is where you come home to relax and chill out. And you don't want any anger, arguing. You want happiness, positivity, goodness between you and everybody that's in your household. I have, I'm pissed off at my dog and I'm trying to get past that. And today being a new day, I am starting over. My cat's fine. So I'm trying to share a little bit with them. I give them positive compliments all the time. So you do that. 10 things you're happy with, thankful for, grateful for today. Three people you're going to share some love with or more. Don't hesitate. Have a great day. I share some love. And then positivity within your household. It's a really, really good thing. You have a Christmas party, holiday party, Xmas party, whatever the party might be. If it has anything to do with the season, the holidays are all. Go, enjoy it, make an appearance, stand tall. You'll feel good when you leave, and if you, even if you don't want to go. You'll still feel good after you go and you make that presence. Make yourself known. All right. Thank you very much, everybody, for uh, joining me today. And may all your Christmas parties, the season holiday parties, go well, go great. May they all go and be phenomenal. I really appreciate everybody coming here tonight, and you all have an awesome day. And kick this ass, kick this week in the, in the ass. Let's go. We got holidays coming up. Let's make it right. Let's make it good. Yeah. I love it. All right. Y'all take care now. We'll talk to you soon. See you. Ciao.